welcome to the third me uh i'm sorry me brawler up b crew battle we're doing a uh, helicopter kick versus soaring axe kick we already had thrupper fight both of these these two have not gone together yet And if I seem distracted, it's because I am one of the first fighters I will be playing for Soaring Axe Kick. And we're working out, uh, working out picks and bands at the moment. Sounds like Xenon will be my first opponent. Because obviously I'll just destroy him. Go through the entire Helikick team. I'm dooming myself by saying that, even just jokingly. Uh, what do I want to get... It's always a little bit complicated for the uh, first set. Do a coin toss. Xenon bans Final Destination. I'll ban Northern Cave and PS2 because we got plenty of PS2 last stream. We don't need any more of it. We're good. I'm fine with no more PS2 in my life. Not for a little while, anyway. Uh... Okay, town and city. So this is a anticipated 6v6. We've had some people not show up. Every time. Every single time I'm on this screen. Where's, where's town and city? Where's the... Okay, where's the level I'm looking for? Hello, Darian. Also... The Pacific Northwest being hit by a sweltering heat wave this weekend, going up to 112 Fahrenheit, which is like 44 Celsius. Ready? And I have, my, I have my AC off so it doesn't get picked up on the mic, so I'll, uh, I'll deal with it. Alright, me on Soaring Axe Kick Team versus Xenon on Helikick Team for the first match. Shield. Give me that shield. Give me another one. Come on. Shield again. He's not gonna shield again. Ah! Oh! oh, that was lag. I didn't like that. They have a player on their team who is Australian. That's not Xenon. I think that's uh, Exetics. into that F smash. Oh, he's using uh, he's using burning drop kick. I don't know if I fought uh, Xenon before. I probably have in friendlies. Not doing great this time. Oh, he spot dodged the entire FMP. I didn't know you could do that. I'm using uh, way too much. Faint jump kick. I'd like to get a uh, FMP, but he's not giving it to me.
Come on. Pretty please? Mmm. can eat a dare. Ah! There we go. He's not high enough for that to kill, I don't think, though. Let's bring them up to like 200%, that's fine. I need to sack and neutral more. That's my plan. I need to abuse my, uh, my disjoint. I'm, do I'm still doing it. I'm still trying to get cheesy uh, faint jump kicks. Ill-fated faint jump kicks. FMP at low percent, kind of pointless, but it's damage. Get at least another stock if I try. Mm. I don't want to give him that hella kick. I don't want to be anywhere near ledge and leave an opening. I should, now, if only I'd been playing this carefully from the start of the match. Again, he spot dodges it. There we go. Okay, two stocks. 120%. I've come back from worse. It's it's the Ganon player. I gotta download. I gotta get it get his uh I can get how he plays. Oh, into the bear! I got greedy. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to grab him and toss him off and do the, do the axe kick cheese. I wanted to end this on a suicide. I didn't get the chance, but you know what? I got that second stock. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Hello, Chazo. So that is three off the sacks. And two off of Team Helikick. I will camp over here. Just watching. Chazo is not here to uh, dominate the Hella Kicks. But that's okay. It should it should probably end up being pretty even anyway. I uh, extended an offer to a couple of players to co-commentate with me, but they all had something going on, so we didn't get that. And that's all right. This will uh, match the other up B crew battles. Kind of a shame. This would be a uh, usually I don't seek out other brawlers for co-commentary because it would seem it would be redundant to have two uh, two brawlers if we were doing a JMU with another uh, another server like if I if the brawler versus Greninja I wouldn't want to have two brawlers on voice I would want one of each ideally But this seems that this would seem like a good opportunity to uh, not have to worry about that and have two brawlers on voice. Had I thought about it before the first uh, first of these. Oh well.
our next fighters are once again Xenon and Loot playing for SAK. Currently working out picks and bans in the chat. Xenon bans FD, Lila, and Yoshi. And it sounds like we're going to Small Battlefield. I hear the East Coast is getting a heat wave right now, too, though not as bad as the uh, West Coast one. Any of you guys up in uh, New York, Jersey area? after this one next Wednesday, I believe. But that is still a surprise. So, I will leave that to your imagination. Three, Xenon on Helikick versus Go. Loot on Soaring Axe Kick. Xenon will begin by removing two of his stocks. And begin! on using shot put and uh, burning drop kick. Not sure what loot's full set is. Interesting that she has, I believe, her Discord tag in her uh, Smash name. an up smash and a hella kick not at kill percent yet looks like they are loot has a uh, standard Ooh, jab lock into an F smash shot put and I believe suplex aka my D rule set mm. there's an up smash Loot loses a stock. He's got some schmoovement. Bear, not quite enough to kill. He survives with burning axe, uh, burning drop kick. Burning axe kick, what would that look like? Kazuya. Presentation coming on Monday, and I'll probably be streaming that at uh, Rocky 7 a.m. Pacific. Loot gets an out of shield up smash for the kill on Xenon. That is one stock each. Kicks down to 15. Axe kicks down to 14. Just staff in chat waiting for someone to use 3 1 X 1, which I don't think will happen, and I hope doesn't happen. Loot bans Final Destination, Town and City, and Kalos. Kalos being a... something I like to ban with the Soaring Axe Kick. Northern Cave, same reason. I, just, I don't like the platforms being over the ledge.
Don't mind the confusion, just waiting for the Helikick team to figure out who is being sent out. Hello, Wolko. Hello, Downgrade. How did the seat fall over? See, the logo is both a four and it's a chair. It's the fourth seat, which is derived from is we did a we did a bleach a bridge when the channel started. And we got through one season and stopped. We didn't we didn't get to a season two of it. But it comes from the fact that uh, our favorite character, our favorite team in Bleach, Squad Eleven, and they just have a missing fourth rank. They just have ranks 1, 2, 3, and it goes straight to 5. So it became a joke of who's the 4th seat, who's the missing 4th seat. Who could it be? Could it be Goku? I would have liked to get to Season 2. I would have liked to do more Bleach Bridge, but it was just, it ate up too much of our time. It was a very, t it was a very uh, time-consuming thing to, to do, and uh, Viz was very uncooperative. They kept taking it down from YouTube, issuing copyright strikes. Some anime, some studios are uh, more relaxed about it. And some are really, really anal. We seem to get all the anal ones. We did a, a Digimon watch, and Toei likes to take down stuff. Biz doesn't like to have any of their stuff on YouTube in any way. Funimation used to be more relaxed about it. That's how DBZ abridged got by for so long. But uh, once it did get super popular, they obviously started running into trouble. Right, it came to Funimation's attention. They uh, decided they weren't okay with it anymore. It's a big thing. Abridged anime is just a headache. Loot on Soaring Axe Kick versus Mr. Pink on Hella Kick. Alright, reset to neutral and begin. back. Keep a little bit on the cautious side. Gets a jab lock on loot. That's a first stock with only 13% damage taken. Into a suplex. Mr. Pink with a solid lead. Should have done something before this. My voice is not yet awake. There's a uh, loot getting some combos. Indo soaring axe kick. Come on, loot, you can get a stock at least. I know you can. Up smash, not enough to kill. I see a little bit of stuttering happening. Ink gets sent with a bear. Reverse edge guards with a shot put into faint jump kick. Another bear. Loot cannot uh, uh, cinch the kill. Mm, F3 
throw. Not enough to kill, but... Goes for an out, uh, up smash out of shield. Oh no, a miss input, faint jump. And loot is down another two stocks for Team Sack. Helikick team with a clean three stock advantage. Our next fighter for Team Sack is 5-5 five, five Miniben. So Mr. Pink will now ban three stages, and Miniben will pick the stage they fight on. I was thinking about doing, I'm in the middle of uh, Crash 4 right now. Thought about going into that after this, but I don't know if I'm, I don't know if you can tell. I'm a little bit tired today. Again, heat wave coming on. I don't know how long I want to be sitting in this house with the AC off. I could say screw it, I could have the AC on while I'm streaming, but I am a professional. And a fan whirring in the background of the microphone is no bueno. Muy mal. Sipping coffee into a microphone, however. Muy bien. It's ASMR, that's what they call it, right? Hello, Gaggle. Pink bans Battlefield, PS2, and Town and City. So, 55 Miniben pick a stage to fight on. DMZ, I understand, is in the middle of some things. And Big Lord is also only half available, so the staff members who usually run this are kind of uh, jumping around. And I'm doing a lot of the administrative work trying to keep things moving in the chat. A little bit divided right now. Alright, sounds like they're going to Final Destination. Which we don't see very often in Crew Battles. It usually gets banned. I like FT. FT is my favorite stage to fight on. Don't make that common knowledge. People will ban it when they fight me. It's just nice to be able to uh, easily tell what people will... Uh, it, just, it limits people's landing options as opposed to a stage with platforms. Makes it easier for a, uh, a Ganon main to predict people in the air. Alright, Mr. Pink on Team Helikick versus 55 Miniben on Team Soaring Axe Kick. No SDs necessary. And they can begin immediately. Miniben? Hello? Miniben, you can go. Just hanging out. Oh, they forgot to stop stage. That's right, they're supposed to be on Final Destination, not Battlefield. That was, uh, that was the confusion. Well, 
What a, what a sad looking Guy Fieri. That's an old, tired Guy Fieri. Sorry, Fieri. He gets mad if you say it wrong. Alright, for real this time. Mr. Pink on Helikick versus 55 Miniban on Soaring Axe two, Kick. One, Begin. Go. I wonder if I should set that setting so that uh, FD and Battlefield just have the Smash music on it. I have them still set to the uh, all music in the game setting, because I like the variety. Pink with a jab block and an F smash sends uh, 55 into disadvantage. 55 makes it back to stage, but he's got a uh, significant damage disadvantage. And the D smash sends him off stage for the first stock loss. Pink doing very well so far. the D-Smash with a Nair. Ooh. He does the faint jump right into a shot put and does not recover in time. I think he thought he still had a jump. Okay. Pink walks into an up smash. There's a stock off him. And catching up. Narrowly avoids a shot put. Ooh, up smash, not quite enough. Come on, Ben, you can get another stock off. Fortunately, Brawler has no kill throws. F throw is the closest, and it's not really a kill throw still. Sack in neutral gets punished. Up smash on shield does not get punished. Ben struggling to find an opening. Lots of shielding. Pink is using plenty of grabs. There's a bear. Pink down one stock. Sacks down another three. This is proving a very one sided crew battle so far. Choosing to go to Yoshi's. Who's that? That's one of the pirate skins? I looked at it and I thought it was the uh, the psychic girl from One Punch Man. Which I never finished. Me and Jack got like halfway through the first season. It was all 
right. I didn't dislike it. It seemed like the joke was the same every single episode. Like, it, it kind of wore out. Maybe there's more to it over time. Mr. Pink on Team Helikick versus Zack. Zack K on Team Sack. Sack Zack. Zack the Sack. Johnson. Alright. Rocking the uh, sexy Bomberman outfit. That's a new one. I haven't seen that before. Now put Sans's head on, on Tifa. Bomber Tifa escapes the rapid jab. Misses a uh, F smash. Ooh. Hits that F smash. That's a stock off of Zack. 34% on Mr. Pink. Zack getting a string of attacks, but not finishing with anything. Brawler famously has not very many kill options without the use of special moves. He has some, but they're not, uh, it's something he does struggle with compared to other characters in the game. And so a brawler with, uh, soaring axe kick and shot put. Very limited in that, limited in that regard. at 170%. Big Lord is watching the VOD and screaming, just Nair. Okay, up smash. Takes out a stock off Mr. Pink. Maybe he's the guy. Maybe he's the one we have to beat, and then all the, the others will, will fall like dominoes. Champion, Mr. Pink. Chazo won it for the Hellies last time. If the Soaring Axe Kicks win this crew battle, it will uh, tie it up. So that every up B has won once. Bear takes another stock off of Zack. If the Hellies win, they will have won two, both of their crew battles. And will be crowned truly the superior up B. The uppest of bees. Come on, Zach. Oh, is it 109? Pink going for an F smash. Ooh, that thing happened. I don't. I haven't been able to replicate it. That in training, the uh, soaring axe kick that sends them down to below the platform you land on. If you do it just right, or at uh, just the right percentage, they can bounce up into a uh, FMP. Again, haven't been able to replicate it. Another stock off Mr. Pink, Zack lands a dare! A grounded dare. Sexy bomber man! Takes the match. What did he lose? He lost two stocks, right? All right, that's two down for the Hellies, two down for the Sacks. Zack has picked his bands. We now need to find out who the next Helikick uh, fighter is. 
Sounds like they may not have decided on a concrete order before the crew battle began. Exitix. Exitix. Exit Tix. I believe is Australian. like they are doing a lag test because of the extreme distance. Solid me voice. Claims there's like a half second delay, not worse than non land play. Seems like they are good to go. So Exitix will pick the state. Turn into Gollum for a second there. Exitix will pick the stages. Oh, those are good. Those are uh, glasses. I thought he had like fiery red eyebrows. June Jamboree is coming to an end. I think people are running out of steam. 
I think all the hype went with the first two crew battles. Yeah, the Greninja one was fine. The Greninja one was, was that was hype, sufficiently hype. Now everything's slowing down. I'm just kind of half awake. Got like 20 viewers. Mr. Pink already won the crew battle. Now we can still come back. Exotix on Hel on Pelican versus Zack on Soaring Axe Kick. And Zack will remove a stock. Exotix seems to have forgotten that. Sorry, two stocks. And begin. with FMP it looks like. I looked away for a moment. Ooh, fails to make it make it back with Helikick. Any other up would have made it. The horizontal woes. There's some stutter. Double suplex, synchronized suplex. This match should be taken with a grain of salt because of the uh, extreme input delay. Up smash on shield gets punished with a sack. And Zack get another one. Zack the sack takes another stock with up smash. Up smack? Zack the sack with the smack. Ooh, up smash doesn't kill. Goes for a heli kick into a shot put. Can he three stock him? Can Zack get another one? Zack gonna be the MVP. Gonna bring it back. Mm. He probably could have up smashed. He went for the nair. It was safer. Raw F smash. Mm, not dead yet. Another attempt at a heli kick. Really trying to get a kill with that. Guards the shot put. Goes for an F smash. Mm -hmm. Sack, not quite high enough to kill, but it gets him off stage. Accidental B reverse shot put, looks like. Doesn't go for the bear. He's looking for that opening. F throw might have got him. Shot put in the air. Nope, the kill screen lied to us. It was not enough for a kill. He's so close though. Soaring axe kick. Mm. Another shot put. Oh no, all the shot put kills. Zach with the three stock for team Sack bringing it back. Zack the sack, smacking it back. Sugar smacks. Okay, I'm done. All right, who is next on Team Helikick? That's all it takes. We need a real champion like Zack K to bring the hype back, to restore life to the stream. 
Or it could be the fact that I finished my cup of coffee. That could be it. I flubbed the word fact anyway, so it's probably not it. What are Elf Kings at? I guess he was not interested in partaking in this uh, crew battle. I don't remember which up B he uses. I think he was in the one of the previous crew, crew battles. I think he was in the... The... What was the last one we did? It was Thrupper versus Heli. on their player. I'm a staff member, so I can sneak into their team chat. <laughs> That's okay. It does not benefit me in any way, anyway. E.T. Knight is our next Helikick player, and it sounds like they're going to Small Battlefield. I probably say it too often, but what a nice addition Small Battlefield was. There's no reason to add it. Came out of nowhere. No one asked for it. Everyone likes it. It's just a nice stage to have. Zack will remove two stocks to begin the match. <laughs> Man, what kind of loser fails to even SD? I'm kidding, that's me. Alright, begin. Zack on Team Sack versus ET Knight on Team Helikick. Showing off their up -bees exceptionally at the start of the match. Returning to ledge with a downward sack. E.T. Knight with the combos. It's a regular brawler player. We've seen him in some of the previous crew battles. Oh! Okay, he's fine. He's still alive. I'm pretty sure it's not, but I see the long black hair in the suit, and I, I think the me is like, a, is like a Tommy Wiseau. He's too nice looking to be, to be Tommy, though. Zack with an up smash reads the roll from ledge and E.T. Knight loses the first stock. Come on, come off the ledge. Give him the cheese. Let him sack you. 
I really want to see a sack suicide. Just one. I wanted to be the one. I wanted to be the guy to do it. I didn't get the chance. Sack from ledge, surprisingly useful, in my opinion. Easily the most useful thing. The best reason to use Sack is the disjoint, which Brawler is otherwise pretty lacking in. I mean, Thrust Uppercut is pretty disjointed, but... Not in a way you can use very often, or very reliably. Oh, Nair! The butt Nair! Kills Sexy Bomberman! That's one for one in stocks. E.T. Knight wins the match. Our score is now 8 to 6. Heli kick favored. We have two sacks remaining. Sounds like we might be getting Woko next. Le next. Woko next. On uh, Team Sack. Won't stop me from trying anyway. I got nothing else to do. How are you guys doing today? You doing okay? Everyone having a bully day. Oh boy, we're going PS2. Love me some PS2. back even though chat hates it chat hates to see my friends on the st on the st in the stands with me
Roy versus Anna. The fight to decide it all. Husbando versus Waifu. Which redhead will will uh, rise victorious? Big Lord chose a wonderful. Oh, I should get rid of these. I'm sorry. Wokonex on Team Sack versus ET Knight on Team Helikick. ET Knight will remove one of his stocks and begin. Not Tommy Wiseau versus Team Rocket Woko. Lots of footsies, lots of nares. Not a lot to say so far. ET Knight, e. Knight gets a suplex. So far with the damage advantage on Woko. Helikit gets interrupted. Almost doesn't react in time. He makes it back though, ET's fine. Ooh. Punishes the faint jump kick with an F smash. Woko takes the first stock at 100%. Woko's our guy. He could be the one to pull it back for Team Sack. Back to the Sack. Sack attack. Ooh, another F smash! Woko with a clean victory, not losing a single stock. The score is now evened up at 6-6. Six to six. Sacks brought it back. I believe BMZ is t is on uh, Team Helikick, so we still have him to pop out yet. Hello, Mr. Pink. Chazo, alternating between bald DDD and clown DDD, depending on the goings-on of the stream. Woko banning Lilith. Town and uh, Northern Cave. Ace, is Northern Cave, uh, is that, would that be worse than uh, Kalos? I think Kalos is wider. Which you would want closer blast zones to benefit from uh, soaring axe kicks, horizontal launch. Anyway, it's not all. It's not all about the up B, though. Next up is paid actor, who I believe is Jeer, who's also a solid brawler. with a unusual moveset. I don't know if we'll see that unusual moveset today. He likes to play with a variety of movesets. It's famously 3-1-3-1 three, one, three, one on Brawler Chord.
Alright, sounds like they are going to small battlefield. I get Zora's Domain vibes from this particular remix of, I think this is the Wii Shop channel. It's mostly the instruments. Wilco next on Team Sack versus Jeer on Team Helikick. All stocks are in play, and we got... I guess it's my fault for talking about Sexy Bomberman with Sans head, because here, here he is. Here's Sexy Sans. We got him. The arc is complete. Jeer using uh, Exploding Sidekick. What other specials can we expect to see? Suplex? With Megalovania, yes. It could not have gone any better. This is... Jeer is blessed for this match. I'm on Team Sack. I want Woko to win, but this is... The Divines have... Uh, they seem to be rooting for uh, Sexy Sans. What else has he got? He's got Faint Jump. And I guess we know his up B. His up B is uh, Soaring Axe Kick, so... Uh... Exploding Sidekick is the only uh, unusual move. In this particular move set, he's throwing it out a lot, though. He really wants to land one. Ooh, bear is not quite enough. Up smash out of shield takes Woko's first stock. Immediately uh, comes back with a bear. Zero to zero, two stocks each. Another ESK misses. Ooh. Was that a suplex that got interrupted? With uh, up tilt. Attempts a raw F smash. Woko punishes it. Woko with a rapid jab. He's got the advantage here. No amount of music may help Jeer. He loses another stock to an up smash from Wolko. It's like Jeer is the boss of this stage. Jeer reads the roll, but accidentally crosses up before grabbing. Woko with a rapid jab. There on shield does not get punished. Ooh, out of shield, up smash. We're back down to 1v1. This is a close match. Woko Tomahawks drops into a grab. Ooh, another up smash, and Woko wins the match. Out of parry, actually. I missed that. That is two off the helis and three off the... I I'm sorry, uh, two off the sacks and three off the helikicks. Still anyone's crew battle. Woko bans Lilat, Town and City, and Northern Cave. <clears throat> and it sounds like our last Helikick user is BMZ.
was sporting a new PFP. Maybe I can find it before the match starts. Brawlicord do be hoppin'. Is a very active Discord uh, channel. Y'all need to fear DMZ. He's coming. He's here, actually. There he is. Right there. Next needs to remove two stocks. DMZ, rocking the floral hat as always. Wolko next on Team Sack versus BMZ on Helikick. Begin. What sad, beautiful music to be fighting to. Friends don't gotta fight. Friends gotta hug. Goes for the F smash. That's a whole lot of not not hitting. Ooh, faint jump stomp. Does not kill. BMZ recovers. Mm, dare get shielded. Up smash does not. Ooh, lands the helikick. Not at a high enough percent to kill. straight through the hella kick like it's not even there with a bear still doesn't kill second bear that does not kill oh okay a lot of close calls Ooh, bmz lands the downward f smash finishing woka without losing a stock which means our final match will be a 3v3 versus uh, bmz and who's our last uh, sack user? Lanky Artichoke. Boy, I'm wishing Lanky the best. Told you. You need to fear him. I love calm music on fighting games, it's so silly. I remember at the end of Smash 4's life cycle, we uh, modded our Wii U, and we had uh, custom music on a bunch of the stages. Like we would play on, I think, Lylat, and have just the Star Wars theme playing. A lot of stupid stuff. Which was awful for the stream, we'd get all- every single video would be claimed. But it was dumb fun, and I missed that.
Uh-oh, I'm in the red. Am I still live? If not, hello, YouTube. I'm assuming that ah is lanky artichoke. No, wait, who's who's who? Well, whoever's not lanky, got to get out of here. Someone on my friends list who just wandered in. No, that can't be. He had the password. It has to be someone here in the. Uh... It has to be someone here in the in the chat. You rascal, you. Ready? The lanky artichoke slash phoenixite on team sack versus BMZ on team helikick. Three stocks, 1v1 for the final match. He is mad. Oh, that's a lot to live up to. Appropriate final boss location in Kalos with appropriate final boss music. It's got uh, burning dropkick instead of suplex. Spot dodges the F-Smash into a rapid jab. <laughs> Two rapid jabs. Artichoke, a rather aggressive player. Forcing BMZ to keep the shield up. Ooh, right into an up-smash. I apologize for the stream stutters. It seems my uh, net is having a little trouble at the moment. It will be uninterrupted and clean looking on YouTube. Mm, not quite out yet. There's another one. BMZ with a solid lead. Haven't, hasn't lost a stock yet. Ooh, and that's it. No. Oh, -ho! he went too deep. Helikick did not kill. There, that's it. No. Okay. For sure this time. Yeah, the dare ends it. BMZ wins it for Team Helikick with two stocks remaining. Making our final score. 0-2. The Helikicks proving conclusively that they are the superior up special. Let it never be said that Helikick is the worst up special. Clearly they're the best. They they proved it. They won. They won every 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 crew battle. Helikick with two victories. Thrupper with one victory and soaring axe kick not having won any of their crew battles. Tis fate. Well, thank you all for watching. I think that's it for me today. I will be back probably tomorrow for a stream with Jack. And we have one more event for Brawler's June Jamboree. 
and that will have something streamed on Wednesday, which I think is the 30th of the month. Also tune in on Monday, 7 a.m. Pacific, for the Kazuya thing. I'll be streaming that. So uh, thanks for watching. See you then.